Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture which is on Schrodinger's wave equation. So we can classify this into uh, time independent Schrodinger wave equation and time dependent Schrodinger wave equation as well as uh, then we will look into the physical meaning of the wave function. So here uh, we, uh, we are classifying it as time dependent and time independent based on the system. A system can be either time dependent or time independent. So when we apply Schrodinger wave equation for a time independent system, then we would need, uh, then we would need this. And uh, uh, for a time dependent system, we would need the time dependent Schrodinger wave equation. So firstly, let us see uh, a wave mechanics or quantum mechanics and what it is like. So here, uh, quantum mechanics or wave mechanics, it is developed by incorporating the principles of quanta, that is, uh, which is introduced by Max Planck, that uh, energy is a packet of energy is called quanta. And uh, next, the wave particle duality principle, which is introduced by de Broglie. So combining these two, wave mechanics or quantum mechanics is formulated. So now, on the basis of wave particle duality, the motion of electron in a crystal uh, can be described by this wave theory. So to understand the uh, behavior of an electron in a crystal, uh, we were able to uh, get closer to the experimental results only after uh, formulating it based on quantum mechanics. So now the wave theory is described by Schrodinger wave equation. So based on these principles, a mathematical model or a mathematical way of uh, uh, dealing with the system is given by Schrodinger and uh, which is Schrodinger's wave equation. So the Schrodinger's wave equation is in general form. Now we have to convert it into dependent or independent or we can apply to a particular system and apply boundary conditions and, uh, and so forth. So based on those conditions, the equation is gonna change. But the general Schrodinger wave equation is unique and that we will see. So here uh, the wave equation, which is also called Schrodinger's wave equation. It is a one dimensional and non-relativistic, uh, it is non-relativistic, so here, this is the equation that, that is a general form of Schrodinger's wave equation. Minus h cut square by 2m, dou square psi of x comma t by dou x square plus v of x into psi of x comma t equal to i h cut dou psi of x comma t by dou t. Now here psi of x comma t is the wave function. Uh, whereas i is equal to, it is a under root minus one, uh, and h cut is nothing but h by 2 pi, where h is Planck constant. So h cut is the reduced Planck constant. Now here uh, v of x is, is the potential function or potential energy. This is assumed to be independent of time. So as this is assumed to be independent of time, it is only the function of uh, space, that is v of x. Now the equation is a basic postulate of quantum mechanics. So now it is a fundamental postulate of quantum mechanics and uh, uh, it is used to describe the behavior of particle in the uh, system. Now here psi of x comma t, it is used to describe the behavior of the system. And uh, this is a mathematically complex quantity. So here complex quantity because it, it has real and imaginary component in it. So it is a mathematically complex quantity. Now here, uh, now you may see here by using the technique of separation variables, we may determine, we may determine the time independent portion and time dependent portion of the wave function. So when you look into this, it has both uh, time independent and time dependent parts. But now when uh, this psi of x comma t can split into two functions, one is a function of x and the other, and it is independent of time. 
and the other is dependent on time but independent of x you know space dependent now by substituting this form of solution into schrodinger wave equation that is putting this in here when we put in place of psi of x comma t psi of x into phi of t and here as well and here as well we we going to get in this way after substituting so we are different we are partially do by do x square is a partially differentiation so when we are partially differentiating with respect to x phi of t is constant so we have taken it outside and uh, here this is a case and here also we have taken psi of x here partial differentiation with respect to time so psi of x is constant so we have taken outside and then when we divide the evo equation by psi of x into phi of t here phi of t phi of t get cancel and in the denominator psi of x will be there and here both psi of x and phi of t will be get cancelled and we end up with b of x now this is equal to high h but psi of x and in the denominator psi of x will get cancelled so we get phi of t into do phi of t by do t now this is equal to energy so here v of x is potential energy so when we are adding uh, two terms we can add only if they are same parameter it represents so here v of x is energy so this must be energy and some of the two energies must be equal to energy so this is also energy and here we are adding v of x plus kinetic energy so that is equal to total energy so here e is a uh, e is total energy now here when we look at this equation left side of equation is a function of x only and it is uh, t, it is not dependent on t so it is free from t time whereas the right side of by right side of the function is function of t only so it is dependent on t and is independent from x so we are uh, uh, we are splitting this uh, i mean we are uh, separating this way so that we can apply uh, based on the particular system like for time dependent or time independent that can be uh, used by this uh, by by splitting this way so next if we look at time independent schrodinger wave equation so here time independent means the particle behavior is not changing with respect to time that's the system which is not time dependent but it is position dependent so as we have seen previously we can split psi of x comma t is equal to two functions one is dependent on x and the other is dependent on t only and uh, so when we substitute that uh, into the schrodinger wave equation so the unique general equation this is common so we have to get from here itself Uh, whenever we solve something first we have to get here and based on the conditions it gets modified so now when we put phi of x in and phi of t here uh, we get uh, this one and then we will or uh, we will uh, divide with phi of x into phi of t so when we do that so here again it's a partial differentiation with respect to x so phi of t will be constant and here partial differentiation with respect to time so psi of x will be constant now when we do this minus h cut square by 2m into 1 by psi of x do square psi of x by do x square plus v which is equal to high h cut by phi of t into do phi of t by do t now when we take this psi of x Uh, when we multiply the whole equation with psi of x it will go from the denominator and here we multiply and again here we multiply the same so then uh, then if you see here uh, this is for three dimensions so here this is for one dimension so psi of x and uh, remember that the schrodinger wave equation can be applied to three dimensions as well if ke in case our system is only in one dimension then we will use only one dimensional 
case that is x square. If it is two dimensions, we will use x square as well as y square for three dimensions, do square by do z square. And this i is function of x, y, z. If it is three dimension, if the system is in two dimensions, it is uh, function of x comma y or y comma z, whatever. But only two dimensions. If it is in um, one dimension, then it is function of x. Now here. You multiply v and psi, which is equal to e psi. So previously we have derived here. This e is equal to i h cut one by phi of t do phi of t by do d. So as we have separated the equation in this manner, we are able to uh, get a time independent Schrodinger wave equation because uh, we are replacing this i h cut by phi of t do psi of t by do t as total energy, which is which is free independent of time. So now this is equal to e psi. So now this equation is it is time independent. As you can see here, uh, so we can represent do square by do x square plus do square by do y square plus do square by do z square as del square and into psi plus v psi is equal to e psi. So here it is independent of time. So we achieved a uh, time independent case uh, this way. So whatever we derived, we came from the general uh, Schrodinger wave equation. So always come from here and uh, based on the cases, we can uh, formulate it as per the requirement. So this is or time independent Schrodinger wave equation. In the next lecture, we will see time dependent Schrodinger wave equation. Also, uh, please subscribe my channel if you are watching for the first time. And if you like this video, give a like and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.